Hi everyone, in this problem we're being asked to find dy dx using something what's called logarithmic differentiation. So to use logarithmic differentiation, we start by taking the natural log on both sides. So we have ln of y equals, and then here we have ln of the sine of x to the tangent of x. So that's step one in logarithmic differentiation. The next step in logarithmic differentiation is to simplify everything using properties of logs. On the left hand side, that will remain the same. And then here we can take the tangent function and then just put it in the front, just bring it down. So this is going to be parentheses, tangent of x, times the natural log of the sine of x. Now that we've simplified, the next step is to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Here it's the ln of y. So it's 1 over y times the derivative of the inside function, which is just dy dx. Here we have to find the derivative of this product. So we'll use the product rule. Recall if you have two functions, f and g, and you multiply them together and you want to find the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second. And the formula says it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here it's the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. That's the derivative of the first times the second. plus the first, so tangent x, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of the natural log of sine, that's just 1 over sine, times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is sine. Its derivative is cosine. So really nice problem. Let's just check that. The derivative of the first is secant squared times the second plus the first. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So here it's ln of sine x which is 1 over sine, and times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. That gives us uh, that. Oh, this is cool. This is 1 over y. Something's going to happen here, I think. dy dx equals. We still have our secant squared x and our natural log of sine x. I think this is, this is tangent. And cosine over sine is cotangent wow these are reciprocal functions right cotangent is uh, this is a, this is actually remember tangent is sine over cosine so you can think of it like that these actually just cancel this is just going to be one okay it's going to be one so um boom it's going to be one right because cotangent is one over tangent and let's just go ahead and multiply by y now so we have dy dx equals y I'll use a bracket, right? Put a y here, put a y here. Okay. So that'll give us parentheses secant squared x, natural log of the sine of x plus one. And that's okay, we can keep going. I'll just go one more step uh, just for completeness. Um, so dy dx is equal to, well, y is the original question, right? Remember y was equal to the sine of x to the tangent of x. That was the original function. So this will be the sine of x to the tangent of x. I have a bracket. And this will be secant squared x in parentheses. And then we have the natural log of sine x. Then we have our plus 1 here on the outside. And that would be the derivative of y um, with respect to x using logarithmic differentiation. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.